right now, I want you to think of armadillos. Perhaps you envision Texas or some southern state. Well, maybe it's time to change your thinking because these warm weather creatures are now making a home in the Midwest, even here in Illinois. This is remarkable. Professor Augustine Jimenez is an associate professor of zoology at Southern Illinois University. Joins us now to uh, talk about this unusual news here. Professor, thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for inviting me. Okay, so run us through what the situation is here. I, I've only seen one in my life and it was way down in Texas. Are you serious that they'll be here in Illinois at some point? Yes, uh, I am serious. The armadillos have made it to the state. They have become established as probably um, seven years ago, the, uh, the Department of Natural Resources considers them um, a part of our fauna. So they are present in, in the state throughout most of the southernmost co counties, and they have made, made it to the areas of, around Quincy and Urbana. Oh, really? As far up as Quincy and Urbana. So my question is, is why are they here? Why are they coming north? Well, um, it's a combination of um, um, factors. Number one is habitat su suitabil suitability. They are prone to uh, reside in these areas, especially during the summer with the presence of insects, especially larva forms in a series of riparian habitats like uh, basically rivers, ravines, creeks, they will have uh, easy access to these animals that they will find on the ground. So uh, in addition, they have connection with the uh, populations that are south because of habitat uh, modification, the uh, creation of uh, habitat for uh, grounds. Uh, for landscape and, and crops have actually facilitated their uh, their communication and expansion. Okay, uh, Professor Jimenez, just how far north do we expect the armadillos to uh, to venture? Uh, can they survive a winter here in Chicago? Well, that is a, that is a good question. I I sometimes I don't even know if I myself can survive a winter <laughs> in Chicago. <laughs> because it is relatively co uh, called for uh, tropical creatures. For organisms uh, like, like these that are in perfect homeotherms, the winters of Chicago might pro prove to be very cold, extremely cold. Thus far, uh, we consider them relatively lucky to survive winters in this part of the state. Uh, but, but then in, in, in Chicago, that could be extremely uh, cold. Even in areas around Urbana, Illinois, they could be in the far northern edge of their uh, of their limit of how cold they can take it with temperatures averaging minus eight minus nine degrees Celsius. They are they they are not uh, believed to to exceed that that limit. Okay, all right. Another change as our planet changes. Professor Jimenez from SIU Carbondale. Thank you so much for being here to explain this interesting phenomenon to us. Thank you very much for your interest and your time. Maybe there's a solution to the whole uh, mascot controversy at your alma mater in Ar Urbana. <laughs> the Dillos. The University of Illinois Armadillos. Armadillos. <laughs> We're going to put a pin in that for now. <laughs> We're going to circle back in. Yeah, we'll powwow on that.